Overpopulation of any species can impact the environment. In Menor, the deer have had a significant impact on our neighborhoods and parks. So much so that without taking any action, we were at risk of losing plants, insects, animals, and birds that all depend on a balanced environment to thrive. In Veterans Park, Lake Metro Parks constructed a deer exclosure, a fenced-in area that keeps deer out, to study the problem and to educate people about the loss of biodiversity. We built this exclosure uh, right after uh, the remnants of Superstorm Sandy came through a couple years ago, I believe it's 2012. And it seemed like an appropriate time to begin a new monitoring program here uh, since we had uh, an area that was recently disturbed to look at deer impacts. Once lush with wildflowers, the trails at Veterans Park were increasingly bare, with no flowers, plants, or saplings. So Veterans Park is, is one of our, our more heavily deer impacted parks and over the years uh, we've seen uh, a pretty substantial loss in the number of, of plants, especially spring flowering plants like trillium. Plant surveys in the late 90s numbered the trillium at over 1,000 plants. Today they number zero. Anytime that, that you have a plant or an animal that becomes you know, overpopulated, uh, you run into a real danger of losing that, that biodiversity that, that, you, that we try to, to manage and maintain. And once it's gone, it's, it's, it's you know, very hard to, to get back. It could take a very long time. So it's important that we, that we you know, be at the forefront of these issues and trying to maintain the biodiversity in our parks. The deer exclosure helps parks employees study trends in plant growth, like the trilliums, and determine what plants deer feed on, and if deer management programs are making a difference to the biodiversity in the park. John Pogoshnik is a biologist for Lake Metro Parks. Trilliums are just one species. They're a really good indicator with deer browse, but there's been, almost everything has disappeared. There's a handful of species that Deer don't browse and you could you walk through the woods and you could tell them right off because they're still there. But once you start losing the wildflowers, you're losing that ground cover where other animals use it to hide, to feed, like salamanders go into their breeding ponds. Instead of being in the cover of plants, they're out in the open. It's like a domino effect. It's as one thing starts to change, there's other there's other uh, species that are affected by it. One of the solutions to deer overpopulation in Menor was the city's deer management program. And in the last few years since the program started, small gains have been made and are evident at the Veterans Park deer exclosure. When we look at the deer exclosure, it's a really good indication by looking at what is on the inside. You know, it gives us an idea of what plants the deer like and what they don't like. There's a lot of things that are on the outside are really small, stunted, where on the inside they're just going crazy. And while the forest floor is still mostly void of plants and saplings, there has been some regrowth, a small step toward increased biodiversity. City of Menor started calling deer two years ago. What I do is are called boundary surveys, where I walk through the park and just get an idea of everything going on. Last year, there was little or no change. This year, I'm starting to see change. I'm finding some species of orchid that were not here in the past that are growing. There's Our maintenance guy said he's trimming plants are hanging over the trail they never had to do before. So we're starting to see the initial comeback of things, but there's still, the deer have been browsing here for years, so there's a lack of plants that the deer prefer. So what does this mean for the future of Veterans Park or Ohio's other forested lands? There's a lot of species that deer will eat the, the seedlings from, and they leave others. And what you're going to end up with is a forest where you're going to have a, a monoculture with only a handful of species of trees. Lake Metro Parks, the City of Menor, and other organizations throughout northeastern Ohio are working to preserve the biodiversity so that doesn't happen. We're all trying to look at these problems together, figure out ways to try to come up with solutions. Solutions take time, but the reappearance of a rare orchid or increased understory in our parks and forests are indicators that there is hope to regain the biodiversity that was lost and return the balance to our natural lands.